Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So it's been some time since Microsoft rolled out a update for PowerToys. And just to let you know that Microsoft has finally released a new update a couple of hours ago for PowerToys. And it now bumps up the version to version 0.71.0. And obviously you can click on the tab, check for updates, if you'd like to update the app automatically. Now, PowerToys can be downloaded from the Microsoft Store, as many of you may know, for both Windows 10 and Windows 11. And unlike the previous uh, release of PowerToys, this update doesn't contain and include any new features. But although it doesn't include any new features, it is an important update. Because, as mentioned, it's the first update we have received um, for quite some time. And um, it does include improvements for existing utilities and tools. And it also um, rolls out with numerous fixes because it is a major version upgrade. It does include a whole lot of and plenty of bug fixes and other general improvements. Now, Microsoft has listed a couple of key highlights um, in the release notes over on GitHub, which, by the way, if you want to get to the release notes, you can just click on the little tab, Release Notes, which will take you directly over in your browser to uh, GitHub, where Microsoft does maintain and uh, develop the PowerToys app. And the first key highlight is for Peak. And Peak is a tool which rolled out in a previous update, which is a quick and easy way to preview files. Now, just to do a quick recap as to how Peak does work, if you click on an image or file and you head over to your keyboard and you hit Control and Space, there we go. You can peek and take a look at that file in its own window. And there is now support for previewing archive files with Peak. So over and above your normal images and files, you can now preview archive files, which I think is a nice move in the right direction. Now, another um, key highlight that has rolled out is for PowerToys Run. And PowerToys Run basically is a quick launcher for your desktop with additional capabilities, which can be activated by using Alt and Space on your keyboard. And they fixed a PowerToys Run crash caused by missing app.doc.png files. So that's a crash fix for PowerToys Run, which is actually a popular utility in the PowerToys app. And then if we head over to another recent tool, which was added to PowerToys recently, uh, it's the registry preview, which is a quick a little utility to visualize and edit complex Windows registry files. And just to let you know now that um, Microsoft has added a setting to set registry preview as the default app for opening .reg files. So here we go, default app, make registry preview default app for opening .reg files. So with that toggled on now, obviously it opens up um, .reg files as the default app. Now, something else to take note of, um, the settings app, and this is quite a big update for PowerToys if you are using uh, Windows 11 and running PowerToys on Windows 11. Uh, Microsoft says they have modernized the settings app title bar um, and styling to be in line with Windows 11 guidelines. So basically what this means is that um, the update now matches the look and feel of Windows 11 um, to take on the look and feel of Windows 11. So as mentioned, if you are using the app on Windows 11 now, it should be more in line with Windows 11's guidelines. And that means you now you get marker, background, material effects, and so on. And just by the way, if you are running PowerToys on Windows 10, you will not see uh, the modernized settings improvements as mentioned today in this video, only available for Windows 11. Now, with the key highlights out of the way, just to mention a couple of um, general bug fixes, just to um, keep you updated and in the loop, they fixed an infinite loop issue. They also fixed an issue causing settings app to crash, so that's another crash fix. They also fixed network errors when checking for updates on virtual machines, and they also fixed an issue causing PowerToys to start with below normal priority on startup. And as mentioned, if you want to head over to the release notes, click on that tab. That will take you directly to the release notes. And you can go check out all the other improvements for the different tools and components of PowerToys. Too many to mention in this video, else we will be here all day. So PowerToys has finally received an update to version 0.71.0, which started rolling out just a couple of hours ago. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.